Hi everybody, it's Mark Rep, Technology Trainer of Port Huron Schools, and today I'm going to give you an introduction to live streaming through YouTube. Now quite often teachers in our school district want a way to record something with a camera, maybe from their laptop or even from a Chromebook, and be able to share it online with other educators, parents, or another department. Now this can be done very easily using YouTube's new live streaming feature. Once something's recorded, you basically get unlimited storage through YouTube, and then you can make those links unlisted so that only the person with the direct link can view it and nobody else. Nobody can search it, and it won't pop up through any other videos on YouTube. Before you do this, though, you have to enable your channel. So you'll confirm that your channel is verified and that you have no live stream restrictions within the last 90 days. The first thing I do is I log in to my Google account, and you'll know that you're logged into your Google account if you can get to your Google Drive. Now before you start going live and recording, the first thing that I'd recommend is that you create a document that can be used as a reference point to be able to get back to all of your recorded broadcasts. So I just happen to have in my recent section of Google Drive a document that I just created, and it's called One-on-One -on -one Lesson Recordings. You can call it anything you want, and after I start recording, I can put links to all of my broadcasts right here, which will be automatically recorded within YouTube each day that I go live. So to get this started, we're going to go to YouTube.com, and then you'll go to the top right corner, and if you're logged into your Google account, you will see your avatar. It may just have the first letter of your first name. So I'll click on my little button here, and you'll see my channel right here at the top. So what I'd recommend that you do first, if you don't have a channel yet, is to click on My Channel, and it will then ask you to verify your account, which is pretty simple. You just click the button, and particularly if you're a teacher or a staff member of a school district, you should be easily verified. And then, you know, you can always go in and create channel art or add your photo, add a mugshot, whatever. But the idea here is that you'll have a channel where you can upload videos and you can see that I've done that very thing. Now what we're going to do is use the feature that I've been talking about, which is live streaming. You'll see if you hover your mouse right over this little camera with a plus sign on it, it says create a video or post. When you tap on it, you'll get two options, upload video or go live. I'm going to go live. So I clicked on Go Live, and then it'll bring up another window right here, and it will ask you in the top left corner to use your microphone and use your camera. We're going to click Allow. So the first thing we want to do right now is to click this little drop-down that says Public, and we're not going to make it public. We're going to make it unlisted. The difference is, as you can see, unlisted means anyone with the direct link can view it. If it were made public, then anyone could search for the video and view it. We don't want anyone searching for this. We just want to be able to send it to specific people. Next, you'll want to create a title. And then in parentheses, I'll give it a date. And this will be the date that I'm recording it. And now you're ready to go. So click Next. And smile because it's going to record a thumbnail. There's my thumbnail. Now, I'm not going to go live right now, but if I did want to go live immediately, I could just click the blue Go Live button, and I would immediately be broadcasting, and it would be recorded by YouTube. When I'm done with the broadcast, there would be a video link that I could share, and then I could include that in this document right here. Since I don't want to go live right now, I instead am going to click the Share button. So click Share, and now you get that link. Now with this link, you can copy and paste it by pressing the Control-C keyboard combination, or you can go right into the middle of the link and do a right click. Either method will allow you to copy the link. Another way that you can copy the link is simply click the button that says Copy. So I've copied the link. The next thing you'll do is to go right into the document that you've created. And a little tip that I like to tell people is to insert and use a two by whatever amount of rows that you want in the table. So 
will give me two columns by 11 rows. And that should be plenty. So there you go. Here I can type the date. And here I can type lesson. So if today's date is Thursday, October 4th, so here I could put math intervention and then I could have the student's name right here. Now we already have the link, so I'm going to highlight it, right click, and then go to link. Now here you can paste in that link. We already copied it. Now we'll right click and choose paste. Or control V will also do it. So now we have the direct link, just click apply, and now you've created the link to that video. The video has not been recorded yet, but when you're ready to do the video, all you'll have to do is just click on this link, and you see how it'll go right to the YouTube page, and there it is, waiting for Mark Rep to broadcast. Now here's the live control room where we were, and if I'm ready to go live, I'll just click go live. Okay, so I'm not going to record live right now. I'll just click on the arrow here to close that window. But I do have an upcoming tab here. If I click on the upcoming button, it will remind me that I have videos that are coming up. And as soon as I click on live dashboard, I can then go live. So again, you have two tabs, webcam, where you set it up, upcoming, where you get back to any of the upcoming pre-scheduled broadcasts. If I want to go live right now, I can just click Go Live, and I will immediately broadcast. We're going live right now, as you can see. And I'll record, and you can see that I'm talking. But when you're done, you're going to click End Stream, and then click End. And then you get some analytics down here, the number of playbacks, the duration of the recording, now I'm done, so I'm going to come down and click on the Done button. It shows up one-on-one -on -one broadcast. If I click on the link, that broadcast is finished now, and it has been archived for future reference. Now if you click on the Link button, it will take you to that broadcast. Right over here is the video URL. This is what you can reshare with anyone who didn't attend or see the video. It's recorded, but there's the title. A description could be included, and you can even add it to a playlist for later use. When done, click Save Changes, and you're ready to share the video. And there you have it, YouTube Live Streaming. I'm Mark Rep. Thank you for joining me once again for another Tech Tip. Bye-bye.